Lucky Patcher. So probably most of you already know this awesome app and if not uh, allow me to give more information about this. Uh, I choose this app to be one of my least. Uh, I want to give you an in-depth tutorial on the main function how you're gonna use this. Uh, so let's start on how you're going to install this app as a system app. Why? Why do I suggest this app to be one of your system app in the first place? Trust me, you're going to love this one. The reason behind this is that uh, if you installed a third-party app, be part of the device system, uh, just what I've said before about the malware apps, uh, this app will now be permanent and cannot be uninstalled unintentionally by someone without a proper knowledge of uninstalling a system app. So, that looks cool. Another thing is that uh, if an app is installed as a system app, uh, this app will work even you reboot the device in safe mode. So now, uh, let's install it as a system app. So, first, download the APK of Lucky Patcher file that I put in the description. As you already install it, your next step is to install an app in the Play Store named System App Mover. Just click on it, install. Ah, this app requires root, so grant the permission on it. So now, look for the app Lucky Patcher. So uh, I already installed the Lucky Patcher as a part of the system and it may not show anymore unless I click the show system app right there. Now how to install an app as a system, just click on it and it prompt you and ask if you want the app to move as a system app so after you move the lucky patcher on the system you may now reboot your device so now as you reboot the device uh, next step is to uninstall the system app mover uh, because you don't need it anymore So now let's talk about the usage of Lucky Patcher the Lucky Patcher Also allows you to install any app To be part of the system. That's the reason why I instruct you to uninstall the previous app because the Lucky Patcher itself has the capability of moving any app to the system and once you do that uh, it basically means that this app is now permanent and cannot be uninstalled without a proper knowledge of uninstalling a system app or a built-in app uh, the next one use lucky patcher to remove license verification so uh, if you play game like uh, for example is the dark knight rises from game log the game is commonly known for its license verification uh, and this game will work if and only you change the date settings back to february 2 2012 which is not good because it may disable any notification from your social media and anything uh, may not work once that happened all you need to do is to patch it with remove license verification so lucky patcher is a powerful tool and can remove any uh, license verification on apps and games and if the game crash or uh, force up 
all you need to do is to patch it again with support in-app and level emulation the game should work now next thing that you may uh, perform using lucky patcher is to buy premium and remove ads so let me show you a demonstration so I have here the video editor called Filmora Go and in order for you to unlock all filters is to pay the developer so as you can see uh, only one filter is available and everything needs to be unlocked so what you're going to do is to go to Lucky Patcher look for the app open menu of patches and click support patch for in-app and level emulation which will emulate any billing system on the app click apply this one of the coolest and probably most reliable among the uh, tweaks that you can perform using lucky patcher uh, this one will help you to get most of premium features on a certain app and by doing that uh, you may also remove ads on the app once it finish open the film more ago now uh, as you may see the value has changed and and after that uh, you may now get the filter for free just take the same purchases for restore and it says that by succeed And once you're done doing all this, restart the app. And now, let's check. So, all the filters are on the device. So, that's how cool Lucky Patcher is. So next up is remove system app. Now uh, you need to be uh, careful with this because uh, you may break or soft break your uh, Android devices. Now I know that yes, File Explorer can do this more efficient, but yeah, Lucky Patcher also allows you to remove bloatware on your device. So next is custom patch. Now uh, this is a powerful fix in Lucky Patcher. Uh, some apps support it and others not. Uh, this is also the same as uh, support level emulation but has more capability since this option will allow you to register as a premium user. So let me show you a demonstration you may also see if an app uh, has a custom patch availability and let's open menu patches custom patch uh, you may select whatever you need now select launch you may see that the application is now registered next is to create your uh, own custom patch uh, I never use it before but you may uh, 
do some experimentation on it. If you enjoy using this app, uh, share us your experience with this app and if you think that I missed something, feel free to put it in the comment section below. Uh, before we finish introducing Lucky Patcher, I also want you to uh, install the following app as a part of your system. Uh, by doing this, all you need to do is the open the Lucky Patcher, go to settings, go to filter, and now uh, check the option here which is show system app uh, because you're definitely going to need uh, this. Number 2, Kernel Auditor. This app allows you to control the CPU frequency, governor, IO scheduler, and virtual memory. It depends on the device. Now, if you have a custom kernel on your phone, then it will be more great because uh, you may overclock or underclock even the GPU frequency of the device and its governor. Now, um, the app also allows you to create different profiles for specific circumstances. Uh, let me show you my... I'm going to apply the normal mode. Let's see the CPU frequency. So, uh, on my normal mode profile, I set the CPU maximum frequency. 819 megahertz while the minimum frequency is 598 megahertz so now uh, let's check if it really works using CPUZ so as you can see there the CPU is now running 819 megahertz and I think it went down to 598 because uh, we're recording the screen and uh, run a app now I'm going to set it on gaming mode So now, let's check if the gaming mode gives us a better frequency. So as you can see there, the CPU is now running 1235 MHz up to 1300, which is our maximum frequency. Now, uh, let's check again the kernel editor. Now, show us that the uh, gaming mode, we set the maximum CPU frequency up to 1300 MHz, while the minimum is 1235. So, that's how you're going to uh, manipulate the CPU frequency using kernel editor of course uh, if you use a low frequency uh, it may save you more battery but at the same time it may uh, down your performance while maximum frequency higher frequency may drain the battery so fast but it will give you a better performance anyway I do really like this app it helps me to control the CPU which may save more battery or may enhance the device performance so that uh, I install it with my uh, Lucky Patcher using Lucky Patcher I install it as a system app so that no one can un unintentionally uninstall the app also after you move the kernel editor to the system 
as I have said before, uh, you need to open the settings, filter, and click this uh, option which will show the system app. Now, after you tick the system app to be shown, all you need to do is to open menu patches, custom patch, and you may see the custom patch also supports remove ads. That's how you're going to use Lucky Butcher on your everyday life. Number 3. Auto Hide Softies. So this app is one of my favorite. By this app, I am able to use the whole screen for the whole time. experience with my device and it has many options the apps also allows you to change the color of navigation bar the buttons which is here same which is blue same as here and uh, it allows you to change the background of the navigation bar you may use transparency and many more so I set the transparency to 100%. Another thing with the auto hide soft is that the features of the newest Android OS version today, which is the NuGet, not to mention the Android O, also provide you switching between previous app. You can see there. That's one of my favorite features in Auto Hide Softies. The app also allows you to change from full screen, which is here, a screen with notification bar, which is here, you see there. and the last is the original setup, which had both notification bar and navigation bar as you can see there the original setup looks disturbing by its navigation bar and notification bar and uh, adding more commands beyond the limit provided by the stock room use the auto high key soft key to hibernate app running on the background using full screen however may give you some bug for example is in youtube when you are trying to put or write some comments on a video using a full screen mode you may not see what you are typing the app also requires billing and you need to purchase in order for you to use the whole feature and once again I just use the lucky patcher and patch it using support level in-app emulation if you think that you don't need this app since you have a hard key uh, well think again because the next app will definitely going to need this number four corner fly this app will help your device to be more like and uh, close enough to Samsung Galaxy S8 yep I know that this app does not require root access but just like most of the app this app also requires to be paid so that you can use the whole feature changing the size up to 24 and remove ads and again this app will be great if and only you install the previous app which is the auto hide soft keys why because you need full screen support to scope the whole screen from top to bottom let me show you an example So let's say that 
we set up the screen with notification bar and let's check if it works well pay attention on the top corner let's open an app as you can see there the corner is moving around which is not realistic as you can see there the corner is moving but if we set up using the whole screen as you can see there even we move on the screen the corner stays there that's the proper way of using the corner fly number five install button unlocker this app does not require root access but again it requires billing to remove ads and get premiums the app allows you to fix the issue regarding the screen overlay detection just set it up properly and at its first launch allows all accessibility permission after that you may now give all permission on the other app without uh, rebooting your device on safe mode or turning off a uh, skin or your team or launcher or anything that floating on your window number six folder mount this app allows you to move any files or data from your internal storage to SD card by channeling the folders of internal to SD card again I just install this app to be a part of my system so that it will be permanent setting up the environment check this mark and you may saw the sources is the internal storage and the SD card as well and click OK it will now migrate the data of games or any app to your SD card number seven greenify you may know this app if you're looking for a battery saving app this app works well without root access but for a limited option and selection of apps only so I definitely suggest to use this app with root access so how you're going to use this app to just tap on this add button and look for an app that you would like to hibernate click yes once you do that you may saw other apps that is not on hibernation and you may force it to hibernate by just tapping this button and it will automatically force the app to put in hibernation this app will basically save your battery by hibernating unwanted app that runs in the background number eight GL tools one of the most powerful tool I have when it comes on gaming this app allows you to manage and enhance the graphics and speed of any games also support uh, numerous GPU rendering as you can see here from Tegra to Power VR to Adreno Mali and also emulate some CPU and RAM obviously I install it as a system app I really love this one to be permanent and be part of the system number nine game keyboard plus so if you have a gamepad controller especially for those who have Bluetooth and do not support OTG or on-the-go connection then this is my solution 
This app allows you to connect your Bluetooth gamepad to your Android and emulate the touch screen. Another great thing is that this app will allow you to use your gamepad to all Android games by just setting up and creating different profiles. Let me show you an example. This is my profile on different games. On the first setup, all you need to do is to click Stand Alone. After you do that, go to Input Device, choose Native USB Controller, Usage Mode, use edit mode so that you can edit your game game up anytime so use the volume up to configure the mappings press start click the volume up you may touch the controller to resize it or remap it you may also touch the screen to add button stick or save to app profile the last which is the number 10 game killer so basically uh, this app works on uh, old android game and this app allows you to modify all values in games you know cheat engine on windows uh, this is pretty much uh, similar on it it will hack all the values in the game however we need to patch it first with lucky patcher So that's all guys for today, if you think I missed something, again let us know what it is and share it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates. Peace.